Okay, YouTubers. We're back out here still. Yep, it's still in primer. I left you last week. We got the uh, underside, inside, you know, that was all done. I just wasn't happy with a few little things, as you can see. A couple little things where I broke through the primer. A couple little nicks here and there. Straightened out the body lines. Just little details that I'm glad I caught because I wasn't going to be very happy with them. Uh, even something like this in the back side of this here, I found a couple cracks that I needed to fix up first. So I got to get these things done. So today's the day we get this place cleaned up, get this thing taped off, and then tomorrow morning we'll shoot it. If I don't get it done this week, I might as well stick it in a sea can and forget about it for 20 years. Let's do with this thing. Uh, see ya. Alright guys and gals, it's your mid-morning update. I know things don't look much different, but I've been doing a lot of sanding. We've got this whole thing down in 400 grit. I'm happy. Uh, I'm okay with all my little bits and nicks and stuff. I uh, used to use, uh, what was it, look, it came in a toothpaste tube and it was brown or red. It was like a lacquer uh, spot putty, I think they called it. Uh, but I was advised not to use that. I got this stuff here. Pro series. Well, it's pro series, so it's got to be for us pros. Really creamy stuff. It's a two part. You mix it with hardener just like you would uh, filler. So far, so good. I've just been using it to fix little chips as I've been going along. Fill them in, sand them down. Dry just like Bondo. Uh, just as much working time, I guess. You got, you know, in the heat, it takes a little longer. But it, it spreads out real smooth, and then if you leave it, it just it glosses over and just kind of sinks in nice for filling scratches and chips you guys know what it's for i just thought i'd uh give you a little bit more of an update see i did a little bit of had a little crack some cracks in there and divots i couldn't get in the corner so that should work out pretty good with that little spot putty sand that down uh, i gotta shoot a little primer on that a little primer on that and then we're gonna break out the power washer and we're gonna wash this place i know some of you guys might look at this shop and say how does he paint in here well it's dusty, it's dirty. I blow everything off, and then I take my power washer and I wash everything. Walls, ceiling, floors, toolbox. It don't matter. If it can't survive getting wet, it just ain't going to stay in here. <laughs> I'll end up throwing it away. Cardboard is my biggest problem. When I have a cardboard box like this, like you can see where I've gotten it wet and it's starting to crumple up. But, you know, i got to get her wet. But we're going to clean her all down right now. Uh, wash everything down. Uh, then let it kind of set up and dry. I tend to get puddles where I don't need puddles. Then I'm going to get in here and uh, start taping this bad boy off. We'll see ya. Well, I started taping this up at about 3 o'clock. And I'm now, I think I'm pushing after 6, it may be closer to 7. I didn't check the time before I turned this on, but we are 99% ready. I gotta do the inside of these doors. Uh, the insides of the doors. Uh, that's about it. Doesn't leave much to paint, but uh, that's cool. Let's do it. You know, clear coat time, see ya. Oh, there you go guys, it's done, took a little power nap.
the usual dirt, which I don't foresee being an issue. Uh, if you recall back when I did that hood, this uh, clear wet sanded real nice. All I did was use the uh, orbital pad with 1500 and 3000 and then my compounds like glass. So the little specks, it's like lint I guess, it's not really dirt, there's no flies or anything in it. It should all come out. But uh, real happy overall. It's going to be nice. But it's a lot of green. That's what we're looking at right now is just a whole lot of green. And we got to break it up. And we will be doing so with the uh, billboard stripe, black vinyl. I did the black out on the back already. I've taken that off already. There's a spot there. Thankfully, it's underneath. I got uh, way too much clear, I guess. It's actually lifted off there. So I've got to clean that up. But I'll let it dry a little bit more. It's still kind of kind of stringy right now. But we've uh, neatened up the jams. Kind of looks yellow to me. Uh, not much for colors. My eyes don't really adjust well to color. But hopefully that's the same green that the man wanted. And I showed it to him. So it's out of the same gallon. So anyways, there you go. Sublime Green 71 Cuda. She's a 71 now. No turning back. See you guys. Have a good week. Next time you see us, we will be doing engine work. 346 pack. Need the refresh. And I still have to blast this axle and the leaf springs. Some assembly required. See ya.